Welcome to the Shuttleworth live demo of reduced line pressure and increased throughput with Shuttleworth Slip Torque. My name is John Nonis with the Vice President of Sales here at Shuttleworth. I've been with Shuttle for 26 years. Look forward to talking to you a little bit about what Shuttleworth has to offer. Today we're going to do a, a little bit about the history of Shuttleworth, how we started, uh, what is Slip Torque, uh, the Shuttleworth product line, and then we're going to give some practical applications and demonstrations uh, of the Slip Torque principle, plus also some different uh, applications we've done in the marketplace. And then we'll have some why Shuttleworth uh, when you're out there in the marketplace, uh, certain challenges that you face. Uh, hopefully this will give you some good ideas of what we can do to help. Start out with the Shuttleworth history. Shuttleworth started here in Huntington, Indiana. Been around for 57 years. It was started by Jim Shuttleworth. His dad had a small machining company here in Huntington and then he uh, took over and started the uh, Shuttleworth product line. Uh, originally it was case packers, but um, got into the conveyor systems that fed those case packers and stopped making the case packers and focused on the conveyor stuff. He patented the slip torque technology in the early 1970s and we've been uh, focused on that technology for a lot of years um, with a lot of systems, over 20,000 systems worldwide. We have a facility in Europe just outside Ghent, Belgium, been there for over 32 years and also in Southeast Asia in Kuala Lumpur and for 37 years on the Southeast Asia area. What is slip torque? Slip torque is a, a product line that has a stainless steel shaft and it has loose segmented rollers on that shaft. So the weight of the product creates a friction force and that's your driving force of the product. You'll notice on the, the right hand side, the animation that we have, it shows the product coming down the line. So that could be a 10 pound box right next to a one pound box uh, conveying down there. And because they're segmented rollers and that friction force acting independently to those two objects, they'll, they'll run at the same speed. Another key thing is as they come to a stop, the rollers that are in contact with that product also stop. That allows us to do gentle handling of products and re reduce your line pressure. In addition, uh, it will prevent any marking on that product. Other thing on the animation to your right uh, you'll see is the chain and sprockets. So that is how we power that stainless steel shaft that is running underneath the, the rollers. So that chain runs the length of the conveyor and then each sprocket individually powers that uh, stainless steel shaft. So now we're going to jump into some of those practical applications uh, for Shuttleworth and, um, and also show you a little bit more about the slip torque. Today we're at the Shuttleworth Demo Lab and we're going to talk about slip torque. Slip torque is the principle where we have a stainless steel shaft and on top of that shaft is loose fitting rollers just slipped on the rollers. So we have a chain that runs the length of the conveyor and a sprocket that spins the stainless steel shaft. So now the weight of the product will create a friction force between that plastic roller that we have and the stainless steel shaft, which is our driving force. As you put your hand on it, it takes very little pressure to stop that roller. What that does is it gives it a low line pressure, but it's also very safe to work around. People can have hands, can have, it can be a workstation on the conveyor surface, you can have your arms on it, you can be working around, you can do assembly on it. There's a lot of flexibility within Shuttleworth. We'll have some examples to show you that uh, I think you'll like to see. Because of the loose segmented rollers we have across the surface, and it's a friction drive, I can have various weight products conveying at the same speed down the conveyor, because that friction force is acting independently on each of the products. So we have a machine part, uh, automotive part, that weighs about, about 15 pounds. We have uh, a business card, that weighs a few ounces, as, you, as most people will know, and then we have a, a small jar with some of our rollers that weigh about a pound. So what I'll show you is that varying uh, weights do not affect the speed of the product going down the surface. So I'll show you that and then I'll also put my hand in front of them to show you some of the low line pressure that is developed which will stop just the one product allowing the other products to continue to convey. All of them will run at the same speed um, and when you have with Shuttleworth, we'll, we have a lot of multi-lane systems in each lane, even though it's one frame and one motor, will act independently as that product runs individually. So you stop that one if you have to merge or uh, do different types of uh, dividing potentially. There's a lot of different ways to accumulate on the Shuttleworth system. 
We're going to show some mass accumulation with the Shuttleworth slip torque. Uh, a lot of times customers will want to protect their filler or the downstream machine and need a small buffer section in between. We're going to, so we've kind of lined these bottles up. We're going to turn on and watch how the bottles act. They'll come down to the end and spread out and then how we unload that accumulation. And now we're going to show the single lane accumulation of Shuttleworth. So one product, you can put it on the system. Obviously, we can accumulate like we did in the mass, but this would be guide rail driven, and you hold it in spot, and you can push it back, very low line pressure as we hold these back. Also, because the products, uh, the rollers that are in contact with the products stop, the, there won't be additional marring or uh, damage to the product as it goes. Good example of that would be these wipes. Uh, which would be very easy to damage or pull or uh, through a roller type system. They run fine. Um, you can stop them. You can let them go, come up to the stop, and they're not driven underneath the rollers. So another thing I wanted to show is, again, that low line pressure accumulation. Even with our 15-pound product, we'll come here. So we have quite a bit of line pressure to kind of push these back. We're going to show the uh, Shuttleworth multi-lane. Um, so like I was mentioning on the previous uh, time when we were doing mass accumulation, we uh, have one frame, one motor, and a single shaft that runs across here. These segmented rollers then allow each lane to act independently. Our devices with the stops come up from below. The sensors are mounted in the surface and we allow the traffic control to allow groups of products out and merge them back down to a single lane. So with Shuttleworth, we do a lot of multi-lane accumulators, and this is how we uh, show the back end of it where it gets merged down to one. Next, we'd like to show you the uh, Servo Smart Feed. We have a number of different types of Smart Feeds that work similarly, but this is the example where we use servo drives to pull a gap to shoot a product into a lug for a wrapper, a cartoner, or even case packer for that matter. So with Shuttleworth, we of course I mentioned the slip torque rollers, but what's unique too is we have press fit rollers where there's no slip. So if there's areas where we don't want any slip to the product, we have different types of rollers for that, which is important in this application. As the product comes in, we're, we're, we're gathering the product up and getting them back to back. And then you'll see we have a sensor built in the surface is looking. We create a, an initial gap and then we use a servo to create the final correction as we go into the lug. Second thing that's important about Shuttleworth or unique to Shuttleworth is the cutout here. So we actually have our rollers on either side of the product and we take back the guard of the lug to allow the lug to come inside our conveyor surface. What that means is as we're going at high rates of speed, we do not let go of the product until the lug is in position versus throwing it out and hoping it gets there. So we actually drive it all the way in to that lug to the spot. One other thing I want to show you about the Shuttleworth is our unique 90 degree corners. So we can do a very tight 90 degree corner, tighter than a lot of other people. And we do that by taking our shafts and, and cutting them each shorter so we have a 45 degree angle here drives the product into one side and then drives it out. But if you have a small footprint, this is great to try to fit in a system. So. I'd like to talk to you now about the different types of rollers that Shuttleworth has. We injection mold a uh, majority of all our rollers here at Shuttleworth. Gives us a lot of flexibility within the systems. Um, our standard roller is Acetel cord roller. That's used for a large percentage of our product. Um, but we can mix rollers within the same system depending on what we need. If we need a higher acceleration or deceleration, specialty handling, we have a lot of different roller uh, choices to, to look at. So I'll walk down and show you a few of those rollers. Um, 
Next one from our, uh, from our black is our gray. We call it our ultra slick. So we can even reduce the line pressure on between the roller and the stainless steel shaft even farther than what a standard does. Next one is a unique roller that we have. We call our star roller. This is unique. We use it when we have loose stacks of paper. It helps keep the paper stack as a nice solid block as it conveys down. If we have areas where we need higher drive, we have a spring uh, that we have attached to the side of the roller stack to compress the rollers. That gives us a higher drive. So a lot of times after a product stop, we need to get the product up to speed quickly. We can use this, which is flexible, and put it anywhere within the surface and change it out even in the field if we need to be. We have solid rollers where we need like food applications or uh, automotive where it's a really greasy or um, a lot of particulate in the environment. Um, we have high temp rollers where they, uh, so a really hot part can run on our system. So obviously talk to us about what temperature your part might be before we can determine if it will work for us, but uh, let us know, it'd be great. Um, tire rollers, so we have a lot of the, so the inside diameter of the roller is plastic, so we have the low coefficient of friction, but the top of the roller has a rubbery surface to it which really allow us to stick to any product that, uh, that we need to. And then the last one is our, our tube rollers. If there's areas where we need to slide across the conveyor surface and we don't want the segmented rollers, we can use tubes uh, in their place, which, uh, are, but designed to accumulate and can still do your low line pressure accumulation within the system. So a lot of flexibility. And this is only a fraction of the rollers that Shuttleworth has to offer. We have various sizes, bigger and smaller rollers, depending on the product size, such as over 200 different types of different roller uh, combinations that we can do. So let us know how we can help you on, um, on your application, and we probably have a roller for that. Well, welcome back. Now, uh, now you've got to see some of those videos and uh, so some practical ways we've used slip torque in the marketplace. There's, that's just a fraction of the things that we have done. Um, and please reach out to us if uh, you have an application you think that might be worthwhile. We'd love to talk to you about it. Give you a little bit more of why Shuttleworth. Um, so Shuttleworth um, is really strives well in the buffering and accumulation sections of, uh, of different systems. So the eliminates those micro stops. Um, so trying to make that a process you have much more efficient. Uh, so you don't have to shut down the machine uh, on a on a product uh, just because you had a a small hiccup or a small jam on a machine uh, downstream. So we do a lot of that. And with Shuttleworth, uh, a lot of times we're spreading that product out across multiple lanes uh, for Shuttleworth and uh, across that stainless steel shaft. But it can have those rollers can have multiple lanes underneath them. The other things uh, that we do really well is uh, stacking. We do we stack a lot of different products from pizzas to paper plates to uh, napkins, all different types. And um, we have very big expertise in that and love to talk to you if you guys have applications like that. Um, we do a lot of indexing and um, combining and diverting that you saw on the previous uh, videos. And we, we're known out in the industry too is we don't shy away from those those challenging projects. We really, uh, we have a very large engineering group here that uh, look forward to tackling those challenges and projects you guys have. Another thing um, I mentioned before, but uh, the non-marking accumulation, because those rollers are in contact with the product, they stop underneath that product. They don't continue to run and potentially mark the product. So that's that's how we can give a low line pressure, but also how we can minimize uh, any of the scratches or scuffs that you, you might see on a product that goes in front of the consumer. So another thing we do really well is the cleanliness of, of the conveyor. We, we work really well in clean rooms, if you have applications for clean rooms, and also have sanitary designs uh, that we do. Um, just let us know what, uh, what application you might have. We'd be happy to talk to you about it. And we really work hard to uh, partnership our, uh, with our engineering team and um, to find out you know, what's the best way to, to attack a project uh, that you guys might bring. So I want to wrap up here and just to thank you for your time um, and uh, listening to a little bit more about Shuttleworth. We have some other live demos I'm sure you, you'll be happy to take a listen to. 
And also we have uh, shuttleworth.com is, is a great resource for the different contacts of uh, your local re sales representative or also some additional videos that you might want to check out there. YouTube does uh, has those also. So thank you very much. Have a great day.